Hey everyone, Sam again. I'm just going to show you a demo of the Kia's Air. Um, I believe it's called Kia's. Um, it might have been me saying it wrong, but it's just there. I've stuck it on the home screen just so I can show you it. So we're just going to go into that application now. Um, and it's relatively straightforward. It just basically tells you what it is. Um, to read it specifically, it says Kia's Air is a mobile application which enables Wi Fi, PC to phone connections and browser based management. So, I mean, you can use it that way without the actual Wi Fi one, and you can hook it up to a PC. Now, because I'm using a Mac, unfortunately, I can't use this software, so I can only use the Kia's Air. So, what I'll do is I'll show you this one now. So, we'll just go to start, and that's it. Oh, got an email. And that's basically it, it's working. So, now what it wants me to do is to go to that in my web browser. So, we'll type that into the web browser, and we'll go from there. Right, so here we are in the web browser. Um, so what I'll do is open up a new tab, and basically he asked me to put the 192.168.0. Basically, is what's allocated for me. Go to enter. And basically, what it does is it loads up pretty much the majority of your things you need to uh, you want to have a look at. So you've got photos, videos, your music. You've got ringtones, bookmarks, messages. File Explorer, and you've also got Contacts and Call Log. And basically, you can go through them individually on the side here as well. You can also change the language. So if English is not your first language, you can change it to a variety of different languages. And as you can see, you've got quite a few different ones there. Um, so we're going to keep keep with English for now because I am English after all. Um, and basically, let's have a look for you. See if I look at the music. So we'll click on this, and boom! Here it has a little. I'm just going to pause it for now. It has a, a basically a little media player, and you can play your music while you're browsing it on the web browser straight from the phone. And again, it's all doing it just for this connect, just for this application here, which is the Kia's Air. And it's just constantly running. And again, it shows you what device you've got. You can go into the settings, and within the settings, you get access request. Basically, do you want to authorize certain devices? Visibility, timeout, and basically the timeout you can choose 15, 30, you can turn it off, etc. And also lock content. So let's say you want to use it, but you don't want people to see your call log. You can lock people out using the call log altogether. There you go. Come back into this, and it always shows in the notification bar. You want to go back to it, and boom, there it is. So, yeah, it, it's a pretty swish application. You know, the way it runs straight from the phone directly to the browser. Now, there are applications you can get on the Android market that do the same thing, but to say it comes with the phone, you know, I, relative, I think it's relatively good. Um, I don't know how practical I'm going to use it in every day, but it works. So I mean, on here you can change your settings. So do the music again. Click this. You get full. You get the full page, and that's where you can choose different ones. And just see how fast it is again. I don't believe. Oh, and look, you can scrub as well. Now, if anyone knows what this uh, song is from. Leave it in the comments below. Yep. It's from a TV show. Now, I think it might have just gone out of focus there. I do apologise if it did. Um, I'm going to leave it in there anyway, just for the fact that you can still hear it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut off here. Um, if you've got any other requests, anything else you want me to put, you know, do within the phone. Um, a couple of people asked for this one, so ask for some other things. And I'll um, do my best to put up a video as soon as I can. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.